Should I get a hooker? And in this video, we're going to talk about sex and desperation, something that these two things go hand in hand, but when we are desperate about anything, our bodies, our health, our minds, our emotion, our sexual urge, and it's been starved out to the point where we don't know what to do. It's impossible to be an expression. So no matter how good you get of a skill set, when you are still in desperation, no matter what results that you get in your life, when you are in desperation in any way, you need to get out of that desperation so that you can be an expression. And expression is the only thing that is going to give you fulfillment. And that, you know, can be in whether that's with your body, whether that's with your sex, your relationships, your emotion, we need to always be working at what this expression is, which is an art. We have to do it every day. It's fucking hard. It's difficult to be yourself, to be an authentic expression of yourself, to be what you were born to be, social, sexual, and to really be you in this world. It's not something that's easy. And so I get this email and it's a part of a long chain or, you know, this is the first email that I've gotten from this guy, but it, this question comes up all the time. But in this chain of emails, you know, this is somebody who hasn't had a lot of sex. This is somebody who hasn't really connected with women. Sex and sexual health as a point of reference isn't even on the map. It's that my body tells me I want to get laid. My body tells me I want to fuck. My body tells me that this woman's hot, but I can't get attention from her. And it's frustrating. We've all been there and I can get there if I haven't been having sex in two, three weeks. My mind starts to go crazy in the sort of way. I want to get attention. I'll do whatever it takes to get attention. I want to get that sexual validation. And it starts speaking to you in this way. And we have to really build a dialogue as men in a community that this happens. That this is normal. To be in this state is abnormal. To get in this state is not good. But this is something that we will all feel if we are not having our needs met. And this goes for sex, this goes for money, this goes for our physicality, this goes for whatever it is that we were born to be. And if we are born to be social and born to be sexual, then the same thing happens with sex. So this guy writes me and he's not getting laid, he hasn't been getting laid for years, and, and uh, you know, he's tried all the pickup stuff, he's tried to do you know whatever, he's done different workshops, he's pissed off, and this is what happens. He says, should I get a hooker? And with me and prostitution, look, I, I don't want you to break the laws. But for me, I have no problem with that idea. And so I wrote him back. I said, man, sure, as long as you're not doing anything illegal, you're not harming anybody, you're not doing any wrong. And there's all this discussion about, you know, sex workers and how evil it is. And it, man, it's a fucked up thing. It's a terrible, terrible thing. But that's not the only way that, you know, this sort of pay for sex thing happens. It's like, man, get some fucking relief. Get relief. Think clearly. But here's the thing to that. And here is what I say to this. And something that I've always said, and, you know, Jason Savage, I, an old friend of mine, if you haven't heard of him, watches 21 Convention Speech from 2010 in Sweden. It's amazing. I got to see him do that when he was working on it in Austin live with him. A good friend of mine. We've had many adventures together. But he came back from that trip in Sweden and he said, Steve, man, the pickup industry ruins men. You're, you've been saying this all the time and now I fucking get it. It makes people worse. It totally ruins their lives because they're not having sex. It teaches men to get validation. It teaches men to get attention. It teaches men the wrong idea about happiness, sex, fulfillment that I know it as. And the advice that I have for anybody is to get sexual as quick as possible by any means necessary. If that means getting a hooker, if that means doing something that is dysfunction to get sexual, do it. And the reason why is, is because we can theorize, we can get healthy, we can get all the right things in our life, but if we're still in desperation, if we're still basically squeezing the umbilical cord of this thing in our life, this force of nature, not allowing ourselves to live it, we will not be able to think straight. And what I want to make very clear here, to think that if you get one, act of relief, two, ten, whatever acts of relief, whether that's through prostitution, whether that's through cheap sex, whether that's through picking up drunk chicks, whether that's through, you know, doing the game and getting some results of sex, that does not make you sexually healthy. That will not make you happy. That will not make you sane and that will not make you feel fulfilled. That will not make you the guy that's banging all the chicks, that's getting all the attention. That will not make you 
the thing that you really want to be. That is not the end goal. That is not what is behind that urge that's telling you you want to fuck. That is not hardly, hardly a step in the direction of sexual health to what sex can do for you. Because a man, if you're sexually frustrated, sex can be a beautiful thing. It can change your life. It can make you work in so many different ways. And it's a great, man, birthright to have. But if you're frustrated, if nothing is working, if something in your mind, and it is you and you need to own that responsibility, if something in your mind, in your emotion, in whatever your fucked up belief system is saying that you can't get laid, then get yourself laid. Do it. End the desperation so you can fucking think clearly. And then, once again, that is not a skill set. That is not a way of health. But and then, when your mind is calmed, get a skill set. Go up to a woman that you think is beautiful and tell her she's beautiful. Go up to a woman that you are intrigued by and tell her that you're curious and you want to get to know her. Go up to her and say hello. Go up to her and be a fucking human being. Go up to her and be a man. And when we have that relief and when we have that alleviation of desperation, we have that small window to think. And think about this in terms of health. If we haven't eaten in a long time, we're starved, and we haven't had nourishment in our bodies, we haven't had vitamins in our bodies, we haven't had all the minerals that we need, all the fats, all that sort of stuff, for a month, one good meal, or one mediocre meal, one meal that will pass as food, is not going to make us healthy. We need to be sexual all the time. We need to be social all the time. If you're in dysfunction, get yourself fucking out. But then, learn how to live the sexual life. All right. I'm in Hawaii, we're about to feast, we're about to have a good time. This is the island of Oahu, and uh, my home I would consider is Maui, Maui no Kauai. <laughs> and uh, man, great times, I love it. Haven't been here in a long time. It's the roots of who I am. Talk to you guys later.